Hey guys, and welcome to a video covering the Hetz Oasis update. So whenever you're ready, grab your cup of tea, sit back, relax, and enjoy. Let's kick it off with the mini quest known as Eye of Het 1. Start by talking to Ictorine at Het's Oasis nearby the Alcarid Lodestone. After accepting the quest, talk to him again, and then you're going to have to do something. This something is clearing four pieces of rubble around the agility course. But before you actually do this, be sure to go through all the conversation options, because I'm not sure if this is required for the quest or not. Start by going to the east and clearing the first bit of rubble on the agility course. After doing so, you're going to continue throughout the agility course until you find the next piece of rubble nearby a ladder. You're going to want to clear this bit of rubble as well, and then head up the ladder. I'm going to speed this up because it is fairly straightforward as long as you see the video, and so is the agility course. You're going to continue along as seen, and yes, I know the hitboxes are pretty crap, until you find the third section. Clear the rubble and then simply cross the edge. Once you've found the fourth piece of rubble, simply clear it. And at this point, you might as well finish the agility course because it's going to be almost as fast as using the Alcrid Lodestone to get back to Ictorlin. After talking to Ictorlin and going through the conversation, you're going to need to find four different rifts. These rifts are located on screen, as you can see, in four different spots around the Oasis. I'm not sure if you have to complete them in order, but just go ahead and follow the order I used in the video. The first one is located pretty much right next to you, and I was stupid enough to run around the entire area before I found it. The second one is located in the northeastern corner of the Oasis. The third one is located in the southeastern corner of the oasis. Or simply said, once you've found the northeastern rift, simply head straight south. Once you've found the third rift, I recommend teleporting back to Alcarid and simply starting the agility course until you reach the middle section with the ladder or the statue, and then head around it to find the fourth and final rift. After you've done that, go back to Ixalin and speak to him until he teleports you right next to the statue of Hecht. You're now going to have to click on him and choose the option that says yes to ready up, and then you're going to have to close three different rifts that spawn by simply clicking on them. After having closed all three rifts and talking to Ixorlin, he will now disappear. You're going to have to right click this statue and see if you can see the option to enter the hidden door. Your character will attempt to pry it open and you will go inside. Once inside, do not try and pick up anything. There was some kind of bug or something weird going on. Just don't pick up the staff and do not pick up the hat. If you do that, you won't be able to grab the Eye of Het, which is located in the statue's left hand. I repeat, simply grab the eye and go back to Ictorlin. After talking to Ictorlin, that will be the end of the quest. You're welcome. Alright, so as for the Heads Oasis event, you'll be able to progress your account by simply doing activities around the area, including the skilling activities and clearing debris. You're also able to obtain progress by completing the daily tasks or missions. These can be found on the board, and today's mission simply consists of you talking to Mabarius, which is an NPC nearby the Alcarid Gate, as seen on video. For reference, this gate and NPC are a little bit southeast from the Ictorlin NPC. You can claim these rewards once the community progress hits the same threshold as your personal progress. There are things you can repair around the area, including a water filtration system, and once repaired, this will give you a random reward. I'm not sure if you're able to claim from this thing every single day, but it does seem to be the case. If I find out anything new, I'll be sure to add a pinned comment to this video. Around the area, to increase your progress, you're able to do a variety of different activities, including cleaning the debris, which gives you construction experience. That being said, it's not very good experience, but it is the most AFK activity you can do at this location. You're able to semi-AFK farm bushes, ranging from the roses at level 30, to irises at level 50, to Hindengia bushes at level 70, and finally hollyhock bushes at level 90 farming. 
These will give you around 55,000 farming experience per hour. Now, while doing this, you have a chance of spawning a Patsy Scarab or some kind of gas. And this doesn't seem to be doing much now. I'm not sure if it's bugged or not. But it's probably best to click on these as fast as you can to remove them as they may be hurting the health or your progress. Currently, it seems like they don't do anything and you can basically ignore them. But just in case something has changed or hotfixed, just click on them as soon as you see them. Now, these flowers you obtain from these bushes, including the rare golden flowers, which you can also obtain, can either be sold on the Grand Exchange for money, used at player-owned farm to create special honeycombs, which increase breeding chances, give you traits, and all that good stuff. And they can also be used to attract higher tier scarabs for hunting experience with the crocodile hunting method. These scarabs range from levels 100 all the way up to level 90 hunter, depending on the tier of flower you're using. Now, before you can do that, you're going to need to to build these flower baskets. These flower baskets require teak planks and steel nails. After that, all you need to do is fill them up with flowers and you'll see those scarabs around you change color and change tier. They will now give you more experience. If you're wondering what flower gives you the best experience, the Hollyhock flowers used at level 90 hunter give you the most amount of experience per catch. Now there's one big issue with this entire cockle hunting method and that's that it's completely and utterly fun. I'm not sure if I'm doing something wrong, but I'm pretty sure this entire method is completely broken. The crocodile you're handling seems to not be able to chomp that quickly because if you click on a few scarabs, you just get stuck at three stacks of scarabs or whatever that means. And even if you wait 10 minutes, nothing will happen. And yes, I did wait. So there's definitely a bug going around or this method is the worst hunting method in the game. Like I tried to take it slow and let the crocodile return to me every single time he chomped a little scaraby boy, but then he decided he was just gonna chill out in the water and do f all. Now if this ever gets fixed, it seems like from a tiny sample size, you're able to get over 520,000 hunter experience per hour at level 90 hunter, which definitely isn't too shabby. And probably even more if you're able to spam constantly, even though it's a click intensive method. Now while doing that, you're also able to make some money from the shells the crocodile drops on the side of the beach. These shells can be used for the holy scarab familiar requiring level 80 summoning, but can also be ground into six different prayer powders. These powders give you different buffs and require different different type and different amount of shells. For those wondering, the Golden Flower Scarabs can give you the Dazzling World Gig Shell, which can be ground into an item called the Powder of Penance, which restores prayer points equal to 2.5% of the damage you receive, aka Penance Aura at 50%, and each shell can be used for 30 minutes of this buff. That is fantastic. And the final skilling activity is the agility course, which requires level 65 agility. Overall, I'd say this is a fantastic alternative to the wilderness with a demonic skull. And for the level, the experience rate, which is around 60 to 65,000 experience per hour, is pretty good. That being said, Silverhawks are still the way to train as they're incredibly cheap right now. The agility course also seems to be a good way of obtaining the fragments of hat, which you need 50 of to repair the statue in the middle of the agility course. While doing skilling activities at Het's Oasis, you're also able to find Tablet of Het fragments. These are currently actually quite expensive, as 10 of them are used to create a Tablet of Het, which can be activated to give you 10% more chance of receiving unique drops at the Elder Godwash dungeon bosses. With that being said, we have covered the Het's Oasis update. If I find out anything new, I'll be sure to let you guys know in a pinned comment. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like down below and maybe even consider subscribing. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.